Hey guys, Steven of Salonga here, and today I've got a new tutorial for you guys, and I've gotten loads and loads of requests for this particular football player or soccer player here, as we say in the States. Um, this is Stefan Al Shirawi, and uh, he's got really, really cool hair. This is definitely going to be an interesting tutorial. Uh, I am ready to go. Let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm literally going to take the clippers with no guard, and I'm going to shave up to about, I'd say, right in through here in the corner, right in through here. And I'm going to work it down in through an angle, in through the sides, into the back here. Coming kind of like to a point around right in through here. Alright, so now these sides are done and the back, you see I worked that in this way and I did that on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clippers, I'm going to put probably I'd say a number uh, one guard and I'm gonna go up just a little bit and I'm just gonna blend this in working in through the top here. All right, I'm just gonna blend this up just a little bit like this. I'm not gonna go all the way up, but I'm gonna go part of it, part of the way up, just to kind of blend this in and I'm gonna extend this all the way throughout the back. Not going all the way in, but just going in a little bit uh, up from where you just cut with no guard, okay? Do this on both sides so you can see it's blending it in just a little bit higher here and go down on both sides and then we'll come right back and we're done. All right, next what I've done is I've switched to a higher guard here and now I'm gonna do the same thing but now I'm gonna go pretty much all the way up to this part here and we're gonna bring this again up into the, into the back like this. We're gonna come in this way a little bit into here and we're gonna do the same thing on this side as well. So let's bring up the, the buzz just a little bit higher this way uh, and then when we're done, we'll come back. All right, next I'm gonna do the very, very front here. And as you can see, I sectioned this whole thing off right through here. And uh, I'm gonna take, probably I'd say a number two guard, and I'm gonna now go all the way up to here, the corners, and I'm gonna bring this all the way around in the very, very front. Uh, and then when we're done, we'll come back and we'll be ready to go. Now what you can do is you can actually just hold this whole thing like this. And with the clippers, if the hair is longer, just literally go up on it like this and you can get rid of it all in, in one shot like that. All right, depending on, on your clippers. But there you go, so you can just take it off in one shot. It's gonna be a little bit easier for you. So let's do this around the front, uh, in, in the very, very front hairline in through here. Uh, and then when we're done, we'll come back and see how it looks. All right, perfect, now we got this done, and now we're ready to work in through the corners here and work our way in through the top. All right, so basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna leave the middle right here has to be the longest point, like to about right here, okay? So we gotta somehow cut this shorter in the back, work it up to where it's longest right here, and then back to shorter again down this way. So what happens is, when you cut the front, all right, when you cut the front, the shorter you cut it here, it means that this very piece right here doesn't have much, has that far to go. So this actually means you can cut this relatively short, depending on how long the hair is. I'm not sure how long, you know, the client's hair or your hair is, to get this, but what I would do is I would start right in the front here and bring this hair all forward like this and I would simply just cut it and I would chip into it like this just to get the majority of the hair off in the front, okay? Because again, once it's a little bit shorter, it's gonna go back and it's gonna be shortest right in the front here. So as you can see, what that did is it created, see the shortest piece right here and then it worked its way up. That's what happens when you comb it all forward this way. But let's start working in through the sides here like this because that's what we have to do is kind of connect this and work it in through the top and towards the middle being the longest right here. All right, so now we're on the back of the head. I'm taking my first section right down the middle like this. Now, we basically have to go from the shortest piece, which is basically the buzz, into cutting this going shorter to longer like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my fingers right pretty much against the scalp on the back here, and I'm gonna follow the head shape, and I'm gonna cut, cutting up that way, okay? Now I'm going to cut this again, going shorter to longer, like that, all right? Leaving that as the longest point into the top, and then leaving that as the longest piece, then what you're gonna do is gonna cut coming down this way. 
all right? And this is gonna be the shortest piece going into the front, all right? So this is basically the peak. See that, how it goes? Shorter up to longer like this, all right? And we still have to cut it a little bit shorter in the front right in through here, but I want you guys to understand that this is what you really need to do. So let's take our next section right next to it. There's our guide. I'm using the fine teeth because I really want to get in nice and, and close right here. Now I am combing it again, straight up. There's the guide right there. And there's the following the guide and now we're going to cut downwards towards the face and it's going to be going shorter uh, down into the front. And what we're going to do is I want to change body positioning to get this shorter because I don't like to cut down this way, I'd rather cut up like that. But I'm gonna take my last section right here. All right, there's the guide from the back. Nice and close right there. And we're gonna over direct this towards the middle here. There is the longest point right there. You can see it. All right, now we have that secured. And then once we have that, that peak right there, then we can work downwards this way, all right? Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? We're gonna comb this straight up like this towards the middle, starting right in the back right here, really, really tight to the scalp. We're gonna comb it straight up, just like this, following the guide to where, the again, the middle is the highest point, like that. And then we're gonna switch it and come downwards this way so that the very front is shorter. So as you can see, what we're this is what we're creating, all right? And this might have to be a little bit shorter uh, right in through here, um, but what I wanna do is now start to work in this area here because he did have this a little bit, a lot shorter like this, okay? But now that we have this established as kind of like our, our guide and our, and our peak here, um, it's easier for us to visually see this, okay, where we're going with this. But we still have to take this down quite a bit shorter, but um, I just want to show you guys kind of a, a, a good pattern to help you to understand how to actually achieve this cut. So now what I want to do is I want to work right in through here and cut this shorter and work it in through the length up and through here. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to go underneath the hair like this, lift my comb up like this, all right? and we're gonna cut this. We're gonna cut this straight across, and this is gonna be where everything's gonna start to kind of work towards the middle, okay? Comb everything down like this. There's our guide again. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to cut it the same way, all right? And as you can see now, it's going shorter to longer like this. So the more you bring the hair towards you, again, it's gonna travel and it's gonna get longest right in the very, very middle here, okay? So there we go. And as you can see, it's going shorter in through here and working its way up in through the middle being the longest point right here. So bring down this section again. We're gonna cut all this to where it's pretty much all one length on the side here, combing it straight down, okay? Because again, when the hair travels to you, it's gotta travel back to the longest point, all right, like this. And as you can see, the uh, progress we're making on this style into here. It's going shorter and then working its way into the longer shape. So I'm gonna to continue to do this um, on the other side until we have basically this shorter and this to about right here in through the middle. All right, so let's see where we're at. Basically what I've done is I held everything straight up and I cut it where this is the highest point like this. What I did is I came around and then I, in the very, very front here, I cut upwards like this. So you can cut shorter to longer, all right? It's always easier to cut uh, going this way than to get the shorter than to cut downwards like this, okay? Uh, and then I spent a lot of time blending this in into here, um, going scissor over comb, and I combed everything down towards me just like this. All right, because right into here is where the transitional point is 
and he's got it where it kind of fades in and blends in that way, okay? So right here, I'd say, um, is again, the high point right in through here, all right? But as you can see, everything is coming along looking very nicely, but we still have to put in that line that he's got uh, starting right here and then going around this way. Uh, so I'm ready to, to attempt to do that. Let's do it. All right, so then what I did is I went in with a straight razor like this, which does have a guard, a blade guard on it, and I just held it literally like this. Held it like this, and then went in, and I just held this up, and just with the, the point here, that like I laid it flat and just scraped down just a little bit, just to really edge this out even tighter, uh, and I did this all the way through here. All right, uh, definitely, and look at, look at this. I brought it all the way down to the back. All right, not too bad, not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry this uh, and then style it and see if we need to do any finishing touches, but I think we should be done soon. All right, so this is basically where we're at with uh, no product in it. And I think this looks pretty sick. I don't know about you guys. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a bit of uh, some hair wax all right, uh, because this I want to have a, a little bit of a, a little bit of shine to it, so it looks like it's a, almost a little bit wet, but not too much. Um, but I also want to just kind of smooth this out into here, bring this forward this way, really just piece this out, uh, and just work this whole thing in. All right, and this is how you really style style this. Just work this in and make sure the peak is right through there. All right, that's how you're going to really work this in. You can even go like this if you want to. All right, uh, and just make sure that has a nice flow to it, and uh, then you'll be pretty much good to go. It's all about working in the, let me turn this to the side here, it's all about working in um, this part in through here to make sure this is kind of the highest point, and then bring this uh, a little bit forward like that, all right? But this is pretty much the highest peak right in through here. So I'm just gonna spin this around, here's the top here, uh, check out that really sick line I put in there, there we go, all the way through the back, has a nice fade to it, and uh, I think it came out awesome. This is definitely sick. So I'm sorry it took me so long to get this to you guys, um, but here it is. But don't go anywhere because what I'm gonna do for you right now is I'm going to actually break down step by step how to tell your hairstylist or barber how to get this haircut. All right guys, this is so cool. I'm gonna be doing this with all my new videos. I'm gonna show you guys how to explain to your, your barber or your hairstylist how to get this look. Now, not everyone can do this. I mean, it, this, was, this is a challenging haircut. Barbers are great at this type of, of style. So what I would go in is I would tell them, look, do you basically like a skin, like zero uh, buzzer all the way to about right here, the corner of the head, and then come down on an angle uh, in through so that the middle's longer, right in through here. And the same thing on the other side, right through about here, zero or no guard whatsoever. So it's almost like skin. Uh, and then fade up to probably, I'd say number one, right to about here, the corners. So zero, then a one, and then probably about one and a half and a two, and then probably a three. So from here to here, you're connecting and you're blending everything in with uh, buzzers like this. And then also in the very, very front, I'd say from here back, this is, this is buzz too. So the buzz now continues probably the number two all the way in through the corner up and through here. So you can see this is all buzzed in through here. This is not blended in the front. It's, it's disconnected, okay? So then uh, what you do is then you work in through here to where it's about, I'd say an inch long right in through here. Then it goes like an inch and a half to two inches. They're probably about three inches the most right in through the top right here in this middle peak. All right, and also here, it goes, you know, again, you're blending it in. So half an inch, then an inch, inch and a half, to where this is probably two and a half inches or so, right into the peak here on top in the, in the middle here. And then it goes back down to where this is probably, you know, an inch and a half right in the very, very front. Okay, so again, it goes inch and a half, it keeps getting a little bit longer, this is the longest, and it goes back down shorter that way. And then everything should be kind of blended in, and I used a wax, to style it. You can use a gel will make it look a little too wet. You need something dry that's going to be able to hold this kind of shape. So there it is guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you do. You know, I tried my best on this one. Cutting mannequins is not the easiest. Cutting these lines in, it's not the easiest too. So throw me some props here for doing this guys. I really appreciate it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for more tutorials with the salon guy.